So we started off adding a authorize yesterday to this boot or to this API. We then started adding these verify user has any accepted scope, which in this case is this scope. I decided to go and create a list of all the scopes only because I hate using hard coded strings. And if you accidentally misspell something somewhere else like that, it becomes a problem. So I turn those all into constants and we'll probably reuse those in the other client applications. So let's go and see where we are. So here we took a look at our token that we got back yesterday, which probably expired by now. I don't know how long they last, but in either case, we need to add a, order a new one because we are going to add additional permissions. Let's go back to our contacts API and add some more scopes. So here I'm going to click on scopes and I kind of need to go back and forth to both screens. So let me do this. I am going to copy this text out and put it on a different screen. And put that on another screen so I don't have to keep going back and forth between this screen and the other screen and the other screen and driving everyone nuts. So let's see what we needed. Contacts.view. And this will be for anyone. And then we are going to do, uh, let's just call this view contacts. This allows for the viewing of contacts and then copy and paste the root of all great development. Except if you paste it in the wrong field, click add scope. We are going to add our next scope. So we got view and list. Now we need delete context.delete. And we are going to put that to admins only for now, just to show that we can separate stuff. Deletes a contact, deletes a contact from the list. And then we have view or list view delete. I need uh, save now and search contacts.save. Saves a contact allows for saving of a contact. Uh, saves a contact, allows for saving a, of a contact. Look at scope. Hopefully someone from the product team is watching. It might be great to just be able to bulk, bulk upload these and not have to type every single one on. Granted, it's only a once in a while task and you don't need to add application permissions a lot, but when you're doing it like this, after you expose an entire API, you want to set permissions. It's kind of tedious. Contacts.search. Searches contacts. Allows for the searching of Contacts. Uh, ser oh, I spelled searches wrong. Searches, contacts, and allows for searching for contacts. I think, yep, five scopes is all we need to add, but that's not all we have to do. We actually have to go back to our contact permissions or our client app and be able to request the permissions so that's not showing in here 
Let me get it from app registrations. Postman client. API permissions, you see we only have list. Let's go and add permission. Select my APIs. Do that. And then it says, oops, I made search a admin only. Let's go back and fix that. I don't want search to be an admin only right now. View permissions. Oops, sorry, scopes. And searches. Save. Go back to app registrations, postman client, API permissions, add a permission, my APIs, contacts API. This might need a little refreshing, so I'll just leave it like that for now. Click add permissions, and all those should be available in the application. Uh, one important point to note is once you do that, because we've added new scopes to it, the users are going to have to re-authenticate or at least already give access to it. Uh, we're getting a message on the side that says, not granted, what did it say? Not granted for da 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 da, coding with Joe G. Huh, well, why not? Uh, that one we know about, contact search. Let's see if it, I might have to reapply this permission because I changed it. If not, we will delete it. The delete one I want to keep like that. Yeah, I'm going to delete the search permission and retry it again. Let's go back to contacts apps, expose an API. Oh, it's updated here. I don't know why it's not updated in the other one. Probably need to refresh the permission list. Let me try API permissions. Let's hit refresh. Add permission, my APIs, contacts. I am going to remove these two. Those are gone. Let's see if I re-add them. Hmm. Well, I guess for now the search is going to be admins only. I'll have to figure out why that's happening. Uh, that should be it. Now we have to go and update Postman or have Postman get a new access token. So for this, all we do is request get new access token. Uh, but the scope list is going to need to change. So we are going to want to try and get all the permissions. So I think this is a comma separated list. Multiple space delimited, which makes total sense. And there were five permissions. So we got view the first list. Delete, search, and save. I gotta grab my phone in case the authentication request comes back. So sign in. Everyone turn around and look at my password. Cue the authenticator beep in five, four, three, two, one. It was close. It's more like six. So here it's telling me what permissions it's going to give me. I have the ability to view, delete, search, and save. You'll notice that the list is not in here i've already consented to the list so it's not showing me 
that permission. So I'm going to click yes. And then say that I have access to it. So now I can go and use this token. Hit send. And I should be able to search. I guess the search is actually working, but I bet you the delete isn't. So let me try deleting number 17. Uh, so in order for me to do that, I need to get this here, create a new one. And let's do number 17, because you're the unlucky item. Select OAuth. Uh, request headers and then I am going to select the leaders. Uh, let's get rid of the old token so I don't get them confused and they're already expired so that's good I'm gonna keep the other ones because it allows you to refresh them easy nope I don't need a new access token I hit send and I did a get but I want to do a delete Hit send, and I get a 204, which means I was actually allowed to delete it. That's the successful response back. So if we go and list all the contacts, so if I refresh this one, 17 should be gone. And the reason 17 is gone is because I am an admin since I created it. So I, by default, have admin rights to it. We can go and create a new user in the portal, which is somewhere over here. By going back here and go to my directory, is it users? And create a temporary user. That's the admin user. So I'm going to do a new user and we will call this um let's just do this joe g and he will be fake joe g joseph Wadagno, and his his password is that and it doesn't matter you see it that'll change in a little bit once i log in with it hopefully i copied it because i don't remember it now let's go to postman and try to log in with this user so i'm going to get a new access token with all this stuff set to be the same except i'm going to do this coding with joe g fake so i know the right token to use Hit request, in this case, it is joeg at coding with joeg uh, dot on Microsoft dot com. Hey, I got a new follower, which is not showing on the screen. I gotta fix my alerts. I don't know why they don't show up. Thank you, new follower who is Oh, Daniel, <laughs> about time you followed me, Daniel. You showed up a lot. Uh, hit next and type in the password. I'm going to get prompted for a new password. And normally I would use LastPass for this, but I'm just going to delete this person right afterwards. needs admin approval postman postman client needs to access resources in your domain that only an admin can grant which is great which means our permissions work so i'm going to return to the application without granting because here in the scope i listed these two permissions if i take out these permissions and do request token Sign back in with Joe G at uh, coding with Joe G dot on Microsoft dot com.
now I can get all the non-admin permissions. As you'll see here, I get the view contacts, which shows me details, list all contacts, etc. Now if I go here, I get this token. If I view the details of this token in our token viewer, jwt.microsoft or .ms, I'll see that there's a sp spelling error, but you can see it's listed as fake Joji, what the domain name is, and then the scopes, list, save, and view. Now, if I run the search, I should get a unauthenticated or unauthorized if I'm using that right token. Let's make sure I'm using that token. Choose send. And I get the scope claim does not contain scope context.search, which means I was not authenticated. Uh, normally, I probably want to return a better message than this, but this is the default. Now, just to prove that searching still does work, I'm going to switch back to the token I got with my admin account. Hit send, and there it goes. So let's get rid of lucky 19. So right now, this is under the scope of Joe G. I'm going to go under fake Joe G and hit send. I get the same thing. I don't have the delete permissions. So now with a couple of extra lines of code and an extra class, we've added into our application the ability to control at an endpoint level what permissions are required to do each action within our controller. That's all I had for today. There is one thing I wanted to check on and that's this authorized to see if there's other things. One of the things we noticed yesterday is that as long as one of the permissions worked, everyone was able to do anything. And I'd rather if no permission is denied or is explicitly granted that we deny all of them. So let's see if the authorize adds anything to it. So we have authentication strings, policies, and roles. Set gets or sets a common delimited list of schemes from which the user is constructed. Let's do policy. And this is a string, so I have no idea what to do. Gets or sets the policy name up to look at this some more. And then the roles I'm guessing are the AD roles that we didn't create. Yep. Gets or sets a comma delimited list of roles that are allowed to access this resource. So we maybe we'll play with roles a little bit within our app. Well, I guess we can do it now since I've only been going for 34 minutes and I've been so successful to figure it out. So let's go see how we go about adding roles. Uh, let's see, where are we? So we're at users, don't want users right now. We want roles, Intune roles. All roles, scopes and tags. Apparently I'm unauthorized to add scopes and roles to my AD. Huh. So maybe we don't want to add that yet. Let's go back to users. That's just a delete. Sign in. Where's my dashboard with the most recent stuff? There it goes. No, that's not everything I want. The active directory. That's where I want to be. That's a lot easier to use. Uh, roles and administrators. Ah, there we go. Bunch of, wow, a lot of built-in roles. You are the global administrator. Yay, I'm the global administrator. To create custom roles. Oh, I need the AD premium level one or level two. 
Well, I don't have that installed or added, and I don't know what it takes to upgrade that right now. So I will stay away from that. Let's see if there are other things that we might be able to fit. Uh, make it a printer or technician. <laughs> Search editor, security, nope. So it looks like we'll have to upgrade the AD level to add custom roles. There was a blog post that Damon from the Azure Advocates team put together, which I've been wanting to look at, that talks through some of the other models. So I use what's called the uh, user token mode uh, there's a different way of doing it where you can use user access token so the user authenticates and gets a token back uh, but there's also the way of doing it with groups so we might follow this blog post along the next time on thursday to play around with this to see how we can get that to work let's really all again i had clean this up i'm going to update the rest of where we plan on going in the next couple of days so you can too follow along with this thanks for joining if you have any questions feel free to pop them in the chat sorry the stream was having some difficulties in the beginning and seems to be having a couple of difficulties right now. Windows must have been applying an update in the background. Okay, being said, uh, I'm gonna call it. Have a great day, all. I look forward to seeing you on a future version of Coding with Joji.